everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Caitlin, and as you can see from the title of this video, today we are doing something super exciting. We are doing a massive spring-summer Shein dress haul. I'm super excited because these all looked adorable on the website. They were all super girly and feminine, princess-inspired, so I can't wait to start trying these on and sharing it with you guys. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay guys, so this is the first dress that caught my eye when opening up the package. So right off the bat, I want to say that this is adorable and it actually feels like it's pretty good quality. It feels like you could get this at H&M or something like that and it is double lined pretty much all the way throughout, which is amazing. You guys know how I love lining in dresses, I think it's essential. I love the details on this dress, it's so cute with the little frills, the lace, and the polka dots, it's so cute. And this color is gorgeous. Greens are really in this season, I've been seeing them everywhere, so I'm super excited to try this on. Okay you guys, so this is the first dress on, and I have to say, I think that this is adorable, I love it. So. As you can see, the frills are kind of sticking up over here at odd angles, but in fairness, I did just take this out of the bag and I haven't ironed it or steamed it yet or anything. So hopefully once I press this down, that won't be an issue. I just think that this is adorable. It's so flowy and cute. Like I said, the details on it are just adorable. I love the polka dots. I think the color is so sweet too. You really can't go wrong with something simple like this, no matter what you're doing. It's great for a day walking around shopping. It's great for a day going to well, I mean, maybe not for everybody, but I would wear this to an amusement park. I think this is so cute. So I just think that this is so versatile and it's actually really comfortable as well. So I just think that you can wear it for so many different things. It also has a little tie. It cinches around the waist, which gives you a nice little figure. It's just so cute. It kind of reminds me of a skater dress. It's just adorable. Okay, so this is the next dress here, and actually feeling this one, it feels like even better quality than the first dress. It's super soft, especially on the inside. This is probably going to feel so good on, and I just absolutely adore the pattern on this. It's this really pretty, almost floral pattern on the dress, and it's all these little pink leaves and stuff like that again it's got those frills it's super flowy it kind of reminds me of like a garden fairy dress almost it's super nice and i love the little tie up details on the sleeve and i think we should try this one on and see what it looks like Okay guys, I actually wasn't expecting to love this dress when i first bought it because honestly it kind of i don't know how it looked on the website but i don't think the pictures were really doing it justice because i absolutely adore this. I think it's so, so cute. I think everything about it is adorable. I love the way that it not only cinches at the waist, but it kind of has this little frilly peplum detail, which is so cute. I love the way it ties up. I think that's so romantic. This is kind of very cottagecore. I think this is like super cottagecore. It's kind of this chiffon material as well. It's super soft, very comfortable to wear, and I just love the pink in this too. I think it's so cute. So. This one definitely gets a thumbs up from me and I think I will be keeping this. Okay, so I just wanted to pop on really quickly again because there is one downside to this dress that I didn't realize before, but the zipper on this dress is giving me a lot of trouble and it's not even because it doesn't fit or anything. It's just that it has a really hard time going over the waistband, so that's something that I did quickly want to mention to you guys. Okay, so next we have this dress. This one's a lot cuter than I expected it was going to be. I actually enjoy the color. The reason why I picked this one up was because it kind of reminded me of like the 50s and like going to summer picnics and stuff like that. And I do like yellow. Normally I don't go for this kind of mustardy yellow. Normally I prefer a more pastel yellow. But I actually do think that this is really cute. The only thing is I'm feeling it right now and I can tell that the quality is not nearly as good as the first two. It is very thin and flimsy this one. Um, so it'll be interesting to see on. Also it is not double lined but because it Oops, the belt fell off. I just had it tied around. But because the color is a little bit more opaque, as I was saying, I don't think the fact that it doesn't have lining will make it see-through or anything like that. At least I hope not. And yes, it does tie a little belt around the waist. So let's get this one on and see how it is. Okay, so here is this one. And I've got to say, this is actually adorable. Like I said, I don't normally reach for this color. But I just think this is so pretty. It's very vintage and cute. I could picture myself wearing this on like a picnic, 
going to see sunflowers. Oh my goodness, it would be so cute in like a sunflower field taking pictures. That would be adorable. I'm like holding onto my door because I'm falling backwards. The material definitely is a little bit cheaper. It doesn't feel terrible though, honestly. Like I am fine with this and I think I am gonna keep it. It's not double lined, but it's also not see-through, which is amazing. And I don't know, I just think it's so pretty. The belt definitely makes it. I would not wear it ever without the belt. But yeah, I just think it's so cute. I can picture me like frolicking through fields of flowers in this dress. Okay, so the next dress I'm gonna try on is this one here. This one's super hard to picture just from holding it up, what it's gonna look like on, but it is a T-length dress and it's this gorgeous white and it's got this open back that ties up in a bow around the back. So when I saw this, I thought it was adorable and I really wanted it. The thing is, just by looking at it, I can tell already that it's gonna be super see-through. Like you guys can see my arm through that. So I might have to pop on a white skirt underneath or something like that. The bust is double lined, but the skirt is not. Personally, if this is cute, I think I will keep it anyways because I think it would make a really nice beach dress and it doesn't matter so much at the beach. If it is a little bit more see-through, that's okay. So let's try this one on and see how it is. Okay guys, so here's this dress. I love this dress personally. Just as I suspected, it is see-through, so I put a little white skirt on underneath, but now I think you can't even tell. It almost looks like it's meant to be that way. You know how some lining only goes like a little bit shorter? That's kind of what this is reminding me of, and it's so pretty. My favorite part of this dress though is definitely the back. I love the bow, it's open, it's pretty. It's so perfect for summer especially, like I said, I can definitely picture me wearing this on the beach with like a big floppy hat and my sunglasses. I think this would be so cute, especially if like you just spent your day at the beach and then you decide to do some shopping on the boardwalk or something like that. I think this is the perfect outfit for that. It's so flowy and gorgeous and I just adore this one. I think it's great. My only thing is if you do buy it, definitely make sure you have a skirt to go on underneath it. Can't wear a full slip obviously because the back is open, so a little skirt underneath it works perfectly. Okay, so this is the next dress that I bought. So the reason I bought this dress was because I've been looking for like a Rapunzel style dress, something inspired by Rapunzel, and the color really reminded me of Rapunzel because she's my favorite princess. So I bought it. The only thing is I'm not sure that I love this. It doesn't feel the greatest. It does feel a little bit cheaper, which is not my favorite. And I don't like the way it just hangs. It does have a belt, so hopefully when I wrap this around, it'll make it a little bit better. But based on the picture on the website, you're not supposed to tie it in the back, which again, I just think is a little bit strange. But let's try it and see how it is anyways. All right, so here's the purple one on, and sadly, I think this is the first one that I don't really love, and I don't think I'm gonna keep it. There's a couple of reasons. First of all, I just think that it's not the way that I pictured it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a little bit tighter on the top and then more flowier at the bottom. Instead, I think there's a little bit too much fabric at the top and then not enough at the bottom. It's just a little bit awkward, and I don't really love it. The other thing that I don't love is that when you tie this up, let me show you what happens. So first, it's just a sack. <laughs> when you tie this up, the seams get brought forward, which I just, I really don't like that. I don't think it's a good look. Personally, I would have rather if it was more like the yellow one and just had a belt to tie around separately. I think that would have been a lot cuter. I'm not a fan of V-neck styles either. The color of the dress is very, very cute, but unfortunately that's all that I really like about it. So this one is getting returned and I'm still gonna have to do some more shopping for my Rapunzel dress. <laughs> Okay, so next up we have this dress, and this was probably the dress that I was the most excited for when I placed this order for a few reasons. First of all, it has a bubble skirt, or at least this is supposed to be a bubble skirt. We'll see when I try it on. I absolutely adore bubble skirts, and I know a lot of you guys who watch my channel do as well, because every time I wear that one skirt that I have, the bubble skirt, I always get compliments from you guys asking me where I got it from, and... Unfortunately, I made it myself, so you can't, but if you would like a tutorial to see kind of how I made it, I can do that. Or we can just try this dress on and see how it fares. So the other thing that I loved about this is like the big, thick bows on the sleeve. It's a tie-up. I just think it's absolutely adorable. The bust is all elastic, so that should look really cute too. I didn't realize this when I placed the order, but I think this is actually a dupe for a Love Shack Fancy dress, and I love Love Shack Fancy. They have the most adorable things, so if this is a good dupe, we might have scored really big on this one. <laughs> Let's try it on. 
Okay, so here is the little white bubble dress on, and I have to say, this is probably my favorite from this entire haul, and they have it in a lilac color too, so I think I might buy the lilac as well, because I do love this. So the skirt is definitely a bubble skirt. I'm used to my bubble skirt, so I'm used to like a lot more poof than this, but this is still definitely a very cute alternative. If you can't make your own, they are super hard to find, so I think this is a very good option. I love the way it cinches at the top. I think it's so cute. It has so much like bounce to it. I love it. The straps are my favorite detail. They are super thick and chunky, which makes for super big and cute bows. It definitely has to be steamed and I think it'll look even better once I do. But I just think this is so, so cute. I love this outfit. It's so me. And yeah, it's just perfect. I can't wait to wear this one. Okay, so this is the final dress that I'm gonna be trying on today. I bought this because I thought that it had like some really cute vibes when I saw it on the website. I thought that this really had potential. And I'm looking at it now and I'm not quite sure. I feel like it's a little bit boyish. It kind of like reminds me of a men's dress shirt with a belt around the middle. So I hope that it's gonna look a little bit cuter on. But we will see. I do think that this would be a really good dress for perhaps the office if you guys work at an office or something like that. I'm just not really sure if this is my style, but I guess we'll see, so let's try this on. Okay guys, so here's the final dress. Oh, I really wish that I loved this one, but I just don't. I think I was right when I first took it out of the bag. It does look a little bit boyish to me, and I just feel like I can't pull this off. I feel like there's people out there that can definitely pull this off, but I am not one of them. I feel like if maybe it had a different neckline, that would change the game for me a little bit because I don't, I don't know, I feel like kind of clownish with this neckline. I don't know why. I think I'm probably being a little bit ridiculous, but I don't, I don't think it suits me. It's definitely not my favorite. I think this is a cute dress again if you're going into work. It's very modest and everything. It's just, it's not for me, <laughs> which is sad because I hate ending off hauls on a bad note, but this is just not my cup of tea. But you guys, that was the whole haul. I had so much fun trying on all these pretty spring dresses and I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would really make my day if you do. I will leave all these dresses linked in the description box down below, so make sure you check that out. And I'll also leave all my social media accounts linked as well, so you can follow me over on Instagram and easily shop my outfits on Like To Know It. But I wanna hear from you guys, so let me know in the comment section down below which one of these dresses was your favorite. My personal favorite was definitely that white bubble dress. I thought it was just adorable, and I think I might have to buy it in the second color. But you guys, I'll see you all in my next video.